In this week two update, before we get into actually talking about the beard, can we call it a beard yet? Not quite sure. I want to talk to you about one of the reasons why I cut it. Went over some um, superficial reasons last time, Halloween, uh, and um, just because I wanted to. But one of the major reasons why I did it uh, was actually to bring attention to Movember. I cut my beard off uh, coinciding with the first day of November, and so we could bring awareness uh, to this uh, great cause. Uh, as you might know, that Movember is uh, the Movember Foundation is the only global uh, men's foundation that brings uh, awareness and also raises funds uh, for men's health issues, whether it be testicular cancer, prostate cancer, men's um, just general uh, mental health issues, health issues in general, as well as suicide prevention. So great causes, and I want to talk to you about a few of those. Uh, if you don't know what Movember is, um, you know, besides those causes, um, what it does is it encourages people to grow a mustache. Now, granted, I'm not growing a solo mustache, but a lot of guys are. Uh, several guys in my office have actually um, either shaved off uh, their beards, kept their mustaches, or have started growing a mustache uh, to, uh, in solidarity for Movember and to bring attention to these causes. And so uh, men pledged for at least 30 days to grow a mustache. And uh, what happens in that time is most people say, well, what are you doing? What's on your lip there? And you have an opportunity to talk about uh, Movember. And so um, hopefully uh, by the end of this video, you'll know a little bit more about um, Movember and you too can uh, support this cause, whether uh, by growing or just by general support. There are lots of organizations that bring uh, attention to health issues that affect both men and women. Um, there's cancer uh, organizations, uh, Alzheimer's, um, there are uh, dementia organizations. Um, but there are, um, this is the only global organization that specifically talks about men's health issues. Let me go over some of the statistics. Men in general die six years sooner than women. And that's in Europe as, as well as in America. Six years on average. Um, a lot of that has to do with maybe heart disease and cancer rates. But a lot of it, in, when you factor in men's health issues, um, you know, takes men's life early as well as uh, suicide. So men are dying on average six years um, sooner than women are because of men's health issues. So that's an important thing to consider. Uh, you know, and so I applaud Movember for bringing attention uh, to those kinds of uh, statistics. Because I had no idea, I always thought the, um, the range between men and women was about uh, two years. And doing some research, I realized it's much, much greater. So how prevalent are these diseases uh, that Movember actually talks about? So prostate um, cancer affects one in eight men uh, globally. One in eight. Uh, it's pretty um, common that you know someone, you're sitting on a train, you're sitting um, at a lunch table, at a dinner, and um, one of the guys in that group, and if you're in a train car with you know, 50 people, you know, four or five guys are gonna get prostate cancer over the course of their life um, from that car alone. So it's a good chance that you will know someone, a friend, a relative, a parent, who will get prostate cancer. Um, so I wanna encourage you people also to get a prostate exam. Uh, generally, in America, prostate exams start uh, right around your 50th birthday. They're actually moving that number down uh, closer to 40 years. Um, and so um, getting a prostate exam is a good way of finding out whether you have an abnormal prostate and uh, the steps you can take to do that. I have personal experience with this because my own father, uh, in preparation for uh, some heart surgery, found out he had an abnormal prostate and elected surgery to remove his prostate. So personally, I know someone who's had prostate cancer. Um, and so um, it's a good thing that uh, Movember is bringing attention to that. And so you can also bring attention to that by growing that mo and talking about these issues with some of your friends and family. One of the other things that affects men uh, only, not women, obviously, is testicular cancer. Testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer for men under the age of 40 years old. Um, that's alarming. You know, uh, I would think it would be skin cancer, which I've talked on uh, the channel before about, or other types of cancer, but it's actually uh, testicular cancer. 
So you need to actually uh, do self-examinations or at least at an annual physical, um, have your jewels um, <laughs> sorted and uh, have an exam. Uh, you can go online and find out uh, how you can do that. But it's very important that uh, you give a self-exam to uh, find out if you have any bumps or growths on your testicles. Um, it seems like um, something odd to talk about, but, you know, the great majority of the people watching this channel are men. And um, there's going to be issues related to that if it's the most common form of cancer um, under the age of 40. Men's mental health is on the forefront of what the Movember Foundation is doing now. And I'm just going to read some of these statistics because it's, it's really alarming. Every 60 seconds in the world, some male commits suicide. And um, shocking amounts of people, men, are dying because of suicide. With 75 to 80 percent of the suicides reported being committed by men, it's very important, uh, given our channel that it uh, probably has a fair amount of male viewers, that you are able to talk to someone about problems in your life whether that be depression, whether that be stress, um, whatever it is. Um, I hope that you have someone close to you, whether it be your spouse, a brother, or sister, a trusted friend, your parents. Um, talk to God. You need to talk to someone about uh, issues that you're having in your life. And if you cannot solve those issues, you need to reach out to people uh, who are professionals who can help you. Do not hesitate uh, to reach out. We grew up, or I've grown up, and a lot of people today, and live in cultures where men having their feelings exposed is something that is not typically done. And so um, I encourage you people, to, because this is very serious, uh, encourage you to talk to someone and uh, to be able to share those feelings that you have that are bothering you that might lead to something um, that uh, will have impact on not only your life, but the ones who love and care for you around you. If you sense that your friends are depressed, if you sense that you have a loved one that's depressed, do not hesitate to ask them what's wrong, what's up, and uh, it's very important that you do that. So I think Movember just uh, does great things uh, related to men's health issues, whether they be physical issues in testicular cancer or prostate cancer or mental health issues, especially with uh, suicide prevention. We'll have some links uh, listed here uh, where you can get involved. Hopefully you're already growing a mustache, but it's not too late to start that. Uh, a lot of guys can grow a fine mustache within two weeks. Uh, I don't know if I'm one of them here, but uh, um, you know it will bring attention to um, your face, which then you can uh, shed that attention over to the Movember Foundation. We also want to encourage you to support the foundation. You can go to their website uh, and uh, make a donation. And, um, and we'll help them to um, send this message uh, broader, but also uh, to support research uh, and to support causes uh, that will help men in the long run related to, these health, related to these health issues. Serious topic here, and don't want to bring it down or, uh, to the channel, but it's something that's very important. I also want to uh, talk about something a little lighter, which is my update on my beard. I'm going to zoom in on a close-up here. It's been two weeks, and I have to say that I've actually, after two weeks, I've actually come um, become more um, accustomed to what I look like without a beard. Um, so I look back at pictures even from a few weeks ago, and I'm like, wow, my beard was big. And that was even after I had cut it. Um, and so I'm actually a little more, um, it's just a little more comfortable now, uh, to the point where I'm walking in a room now forgetting that, I have a beard or don't have a beard anymore and still seeing people's surprises, which is uh, quite funny at times. So um, let's zoom in for a close-up. Um, thanks for tuning in and uh, please do support Movember. So that's my uh, two-week update on the growing of my beard for 90 days without cutting and trimming. Next week, I'm going to talk about uh, things that I see in my beard that might be different from what I had seen four years ago and uh, process or progress that I've made uh, in my beard over the past four years. So comment below and tell us uh, if you're on board with the Movember Foundation and how many of you are growing a solo mustache. 
I'm also curious who shaved their beard off to start November 1st fresh, as I did. And uh, how is your experience going, growing your beard back? Until we meet again, beard on. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.